so this is my new retro gaming setup. Uh, the whole thing is basically a what's called an Intel NUC that I have mounted behind my television. Uh, it's got an i5 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, has an M2 drive and an SSD drive in it as well. And then I've got all my ROMs on this external hard drive that's just sitting right here. Um, mounted at the front of the television, I've got what's called a Dolphin Bar. And this actually uh, allows you to use a Wiimote with your, uh, with your PC. So I can play Wii games with the actual uh, Nintendo Wiimote, just the regular old Wiimote. And then down here, I've got, uh, that's for my keyboard and mouse, just mounted to the bottom of my sound bar so that it has um, good connection to wireless. And then this is also a uh, Xbox 360 receiver for the Xbox controller. And uh, that's basically it. So now I want to show you what's at the heart of the system, which, which is a front end called uh, LaunchBox. And it has a really cool intro, so I'm going to go ahead and launch it here. So each system that you select has a really cool like intro video that, that kind of shows what the system's all about. So this is the Nintendo one. And it has this really cool wheel animation to scroll through all the different emulators. And you can change this and customize it any way that you want, but you can see there are literally tons of different emulators. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, man, this is the greatest game, and the soundtrack is so 90s too. God, I love this game. So not only can you import your emulators, but you can also import Windows games into the system. Uh, LaunchBox is very flexible, and it gives you a nice single front end to access all of your Windows games, uh, as well as your emulators. And that's really all I wanted to show you guys.